When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive until the day they Hey, Master Evil's back, man. Where you been? Where you been? You've left me and Alex hanging high and dry. Hello, prisoners, and welcome to Slash Tracks. Oh, I know you two losers will be happy to know that I, Mr. Flivel, and Ma have been having a smashing time here at the Evil Genius Convention. Evil Genius Convention? How the hell did you get invited there? That's a good question. The big guest this year was oh, yeah. none other than Agent Orange himself. It was such an unbelievable honor to see the big man himself. Yes. Such an honor. Ma is out shopping while Mr. Flivel is attending a seminar on being an evil pet run by Mr. Tinkles himself. I've attended a few seminars myself as well. Mama Doon did a wonderful one on crafting an evil plan. While Uncle Chaos did one on making doomsday machines. Okay. But I have to say, the best was headed by King the Forester, who did one on how to fully torture prisoners using bad movies. MST3K. She called it the gauntlet of terror. It was extremely informative. Right. That's all we need. But prisoners, I'm taking a day off and relaxing on this beach, on this lovely island off Costa Rica. It's called Isla Sorna. So beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Have you never watched like The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Isla Sorna? Of course, Josh, of course he hasn't watched any of those movies. Those are actually good movies. He only watches shitty movies so he can torture us. That's a good point. Uh, Jurassic Park 3 is debatable on that end. But, you know, if you're really on Isla Sorna, you might want to keep an eye out because, you know... What was that? Okay, gotta go, idiots. Now watch your damn movie. Carnosaur 3. Primal Species. (laughs) <laughs> There's a part three of Carnosaur? Yeah, but we might have to watch it, but he's going to want to run soon, because that last thing we heard was... Run! Crap! Okay, so he just got chased off by a little plushy dinosaur that sounded like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park and World and You know what? I don't even I don't I don't even care anymore. I don't Uh I, don't. I have a couple things to say about that. He's he's so delusional and so wrapped up in this world he's created where we're the focal point, the central focus of his delusions that he actually believes that his cat, his stuffed animal that he probably got from a fiddlesticks 
some novelty <laughs> store is real, okay? And in and in this delusion, Josh, mm-hmm. this cat is at like a symposium, like a lecture. <laughs> he he thinks this stuffed fucking cat is at a lecture, and he also <laughs> is his delusion is so self-aggrandized and so big now that he actually has sound effects and he reacts to the sound effects that he set up because we didn't do it because we have no control over anything know, right? that happens to us. What I'm, if we're what if we're like dead and this is hell? No, because people that are from most of the shows like The Good Place and all those other shows, they don't know they're in hell for oh, for a while. Yeah. yeah. So like season three or four. We're just starting season two. No, we we're not in hell yet. At least <laughs> at least not that I know of. His delusions are so intricate. He he's starting to believe them himself. So they're not they're not delusions anymore, I guess. Cra- true crazy people don't know they're crazy. So he's crazy. Yeah, that's that's okay. a very good point. He he sent me a letter by the way. I know we're having to watch Carnosaur 3 tonight. But he said he tracked down the elusive hard to find raptor, which is Carnosaur 4. And he's going to make us watch that very soon. So wait a minute. So he, I did, I didn't even know there was a Carnosaur three until today. Um, and I was really bummed out about that because Carnosaur is almost on the ghoulies level for me. And then you're te- you're telling me on the day that I just found out that there is a Carnosaur three and we're watching it that there's in fact a Carnosaur four. There is. This is the last one though, I think. Uh, except for, for now. Uh, there's one, I think there's one that's part five, it's called the Eden Formula, but I'm not sure, Master Evil, please don't look into that. Yeah, uh, Master Evil, please not. don't, yeah, Master Evil, please don't watch your own show, please, jo- Josh, shut up, stop telling him movie titles. Well, he got chased off by a T-Rex plushie, I mean, he's you, busy. You can see that his hand was moving it. <laughs> he was moving it himself. What if that was a giant cloned hand or something? He's at a lecture. He's 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 trying to learn from other evil people. He's clearly not comfortable or secure in his own abilities. Why is you know who going by Agent Orange now? Is that just so he's got all that it was uh speaking of delusional, I mean I guess that'd be the person to learn from. Uh but yeah, I guess, I guess that's so. Uh, he's got all that time on his hands now, right? So, no, the only thing he has on his hands right now is a fucking stuffed dinosaur. Is what's no, no, on no. I'm hand. talking about Agent Orange that he went to see a lecture from about being an evil genius. You know, Agent Orange, who we know who that really is, might be evil, but he's not a genius. So I don't even know how he got on the bill for that. Um, it's all relative. It's all relative. Maybe <laughs> Master Evil thinks he's a genius because Master Evil's. You know, not once again, not secure oh, his own. Because he told like, Master Evil, he went, "I'm the smartest man in the world. Everyone says so. Never seen anyone as smart as me." Okay, <laughs> something like that. And he's like, "All right, you're 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 the head of the convention." Okay. Um, uh, well, so. hey, all right. If that's what if that's the road he's going down, and he's choosing to go down that road, then let him go down it. I'd I actually know, rather. I know you enjoy your time, where you get lights and everything, but yeah. You kind of want to rip the Band-Aid off, or what do you want to do? No, but sure. <laughs> let's, let's do it anyway. Three primal species. Let's do it anyway. Let's go. Open the vault. Oh, hey, it's the Stamp of Awesomeness. New Horizons. New New Horizons. A Roger Corman presents. And we all know Roger Corman. Jonathan Winfrey directed this. I can't believe that. I can't believe we're watching this. I can't believe that it is it, it it exists. The title is blurry. The C is cut off. <laughs> In the title of the name, it was cut off. It was. <laughs> they couldn't afford to put the full name <laughs> on the title of the, the <laughs> opening credits. Anthony Peck. It put us over there. 
how come all these movies, like the Return of the Living Dead ones and the Carnosaur ones, how come they always start off with just nondescript military chiefs? I don't know, it's supposed to be primal species, carnosaurs, but for like in a war movie. I guess they had the idea years before Jurassic World, you know, with the whole militarize them or something. Oh, Are these the Ch primal species? Yeah, no, check out, I, I said oh boy, because check out the guys on the right and the back there. They always cast people in these movies that don't look like military people. <laughs> they look like they're going, like, they're riding a ski lift or something. There's supposed to be some stock footage in this that's from, like, a military movie, like a low-budget military movie. And I'm guessing it's something that happens around this part. Because this seems to be military. Yeah, they got that camo on the trailer. Nobody sees the trailer, I promise you. You have that little strip of camo, uh, you know, going over the top of it, and that's it. I know. Did I just see there... a semi-truck drive by, Alex? <laughs> hey, so, I, gotta... I, I think I did. I'm not the sure. Army. We don't make stops for Maybe it's just part of a trailer. It yeah, looked like it was like cutting pieces. We'll lean it out the back then. Thanks, Sarge. The sergeant is take the most. Jar, but... wow. The sergeant is the most out of shape guy in the jeep. Hey, look at this. Oh. Yeah, that's how I hold mine when I pee. Is that how you hold yours? Just both hands and squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> That that army helmet looks like the ones that you get from the local five and dime store, like Payless or Rite Aid, when we were kids. <laughs> you like, you know, decorate it yourself with like paper. I don't know to make it look real. You know. Oh, are those guys in black? Is that the primal species? Oh. It's not even the same people getting. Well, at least we know now what happens when you take a piss out of the back side of a jeep. Uh, ninjas start shooting at you? Yeah, dude. you get murdered by ninjas. So wait, ninjas to, wait, till the, wait till the jeep stops to take a piss, or a ninja will murder you. <laughs> wait, he was pointing down. Yeah, and then he was pointing <laughs> forward. <laughs> the guy scream and stand up. Oh, let me see Man, our military is highly untrained. No, these uh, primal species ninjas are just badass shots. The dinosaurs have evolved from the first two movies into to nin <laughs> ninja assassins. They're no longer dinosaurs. Is that guy the primal species? Where's the primal species at? I want to know. There's that trailer the, that's barely camouflaged. The guy you're talking yeah. about, you, you, you said, is that guy the primal species? He looks like one of the guys on the Saved by the Bell who's trying to catch the gang in the mall when they're trying to sell concert tickets. Trying to be like a, a dollar store Christian Slater. No! Yes! Okay, so one ninja is on top here guarding this this structure. This is Ninja ah. Headquarters. Yeah, this is the Ninja... <laughs> Jonathan Winfrey, Oprah's third cousin. Oh my god, it's just a pair of eyes. What the hell? One terrace to the north and one more down to the south. What do you got, Coolidge? <laughs> what is, is that like a tiger uh, R-Zone thing? What was that? I don't know what's going on. And then these, these military guys have masks over their heads. Uh... Is that to prevent them from seeing the primal species <laughs> up close so. and personal? Maybe they are the primal species. <laughs> that, that military guy right there uh, went like totally like quick job on the paint. He just did camo on his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the guy in the headlock right there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about him? <laughs> he did not act very surprised. <laughs> He's all trying. Oh, hey, to... hey, Bob. <laughs> So the whole time he was just trying to hit his mark. <laughs> remember in Ghoul or remember in Troll Two when the girl was walking down uh, from the trailer, and I I noticed that she was mouthing something like she was rehearsing her lines. Yes. Before she went down. That's kind of what we had a rehearsing line situation right there. Well, the ninjas have caught the military. Why are they not shooting them to pieces like they were earlier? Who do the ninjas work for? Do they work for the dinosaurs? It's like G.I. Joe Cobra or something. 
Wasn't there a ninja G.I. Joe? Yeah, there was Storm Shadow, there was uh, Quick Kick, there was Snake Eyes. The, the Antarctica guy that only got called out like every now and then to be part of the team. Snake Eyes. Only when it was snowy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, there's our guy from Part 2. Uh, he played uh, Monk in Part 2. So he's he's in two of these movies as two different characters? Yes, yes. I remember we talked he... to Ryan Thomas about that. He said he was a really cool guy on set. I and you thought you... I was talking about Monk from the TV show, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, hey uh, I bet you he was just excited to get a phone call to be, uh, to be able to pay his rent again. He, uh, Ryan told us that he was making like three Roger Corman movies at once uh, while they were filming Carnosaur 2. The, the guy that we just saw? Yeah, the guy that's right, right there talking. Who the man? He was like the Jeff Goldblum of Carnosaur 2. Oh, I don't know why they insist on having military people. <clears throat> I, under I understand the movie's low budget, but can you at least give them a military haircut and like have them do some sort of physical training for a couple weeks before they take on the, the role? Because it just takes me totally out of the, you know, I can't believe it. The illusion is ruined. You know, if these guys would have left the camouflage on top of the semi trucks there, the trailers, the cop would have never saw them, would have never noticed them. Yes, of course. Yeah, would, that cop looks like a cop that shows up to strip at a birthday party. He shot him. You take the truck inside. I'll get rid of. That wasn't very nice. Looks like he had like a melted gummy bear on his forehead there. Attention. At ease. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy in the, the closest to us. The, the left right there. That guy's a soldier, huh? <laughs> hmm. That's our guy. The guy closest to us is Monk from part well, two. Monk is not meeting the physical requirements no. of this elite no. forces group. I'm sorry. That exercise took 15 seconds off your last. 15 seconds, not 20. Not in a fourteen. Situation, fifteen. 15. Mean fifteen dead hostages. Wake up. Polchek. Polchek. You some kind of donkey. Did he ask if he's some kind of donkey? Really? Sir. If by donkey you mean jackass, then yes, sir. <laughs> Are you some kind of dumb? Well, I'm a smart ass donkey. Well, why is he the only one wearing? Why is he the only one wearing face paint? All you have to do is oh my god! They can hear you from like a half a mile away, sir. Shut up! Yes, sir. So his his thing about being okay being called a donkey is they have big ears that can hear you coming a mile away. You could have just as easily acquired your all down below without excellent work on the face paint. I couldn't see you, and and that strip of camo that you applied to the semi tractor truck and trailer, unbelievable work, sir. Donkeys aren't dumb. They have big ears. Here comes Ryder Straw. Strong. <laughs> Feeney's Ryder Strong riding shotgun. Feeney's driving it. Since when is Mercer back from DC? Doesn't tell me that doesn't look like Ryder Strong. <laughs> <laughs> the long-haired guy there with the yeah. beard. Yeah, yeah, that looks like an old ass Ryder Strong. But like if uh, you know Sean was taken from 1995, you know Boy Meets World, and like age now for this role. Not Girl Meets World, Ryder Strong, but like you know. Why does Polchek have a bunch of shotgun shells strapped to him and nobody else does? <laughs> Why do you remember <clears throat> the character's name? <laughs> <laughs> I already forgot it. God, Sean doesn't like that. Dude, his dad's a janitor at his school. Now he's getting a lot of lip from this military guy. That Optimus Prime this is the primal species. <laughs> Oh, here comes uh, Christian Slater wannabe. It's gotta be hot as hell. Leather jacket, all that black in the desert. All right. Nice shooting there, Dolan. I wonder if the Wachowski nice brothers six. saw Polchek and all these guys and they're like, wait a second. Wait a minute, I like this look. 
Carnosaur Three inspired the <laughs> the wardrobe for Matrix. The Matrix. Receive a precious reward. You never know. Are you a donkey? God, we're like 20 minutes into this film and we haven't seen one dinosaur yet. Are we going to see a dinosaur right here? I want to see what, a, what the primal species is. <clears throat> okay, the, the back of that's the Power Rangers Command Center. What's going on here? Yeah, Alpha and Zack are actually doing dance lessons. Ay, ay, ay! There's a primal species here. Mastodon, lion, primal species. <laughs> oh, there's the primal species. We got dinosaur. Saber tooth tiger, carnosaur. <laughs> carnosaur you three, primal species. Your carnosaur, oh, carnosaur it, zord. No! No! Pull check. What is it? You call this uranium? I don't understand. My my intelligence was from a high-ranking official. Are you some oh, kind of dumbass donkey? It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Yes, sir. I asked for uranium and you give me fucking... Dude, I've never seen a reptile that's seven foot about? tall and has that kind of teeth, okay? If that guy really thinks that's just reptiles, he's the dumbest oh. fucking man oh. in existence. Scaly looking uranium. Would you think reptiles if that's what you saw? No, I would... I would... Well, that's first a primal off, species. I would, th yeah, I would think primal species. But I, on another uh, level of thinking, I think I'm gonna get the hell out of the back of this truck because I don't know what these are. Brian, <laughs> not gonna debate what they are. I'm getting the hell out of it. No, because you don't want to get eaten. Yeah. Eat. Okay. Like, so that's what oh my yeah, God! It's it. Michael McDonald. Sounded like machine gun fire. He's back. <laughs> He was in Carnosaur 2, remember, at the helicopter? Yes, um, he, what, what character did he play? We've talked about this on, uh, Mad TV. TV. What I yeah, do, but, Stuart. Exactly. Yeah, he, he, his little walk right there looked very stuart s <laughs> With his hands out to the side, kind of. Look what I can do, Mom. Why the hell did the military design Jeeps with no doors? Like, <laughs> what, how, how was that tactically an advantage? Or do they buy the ones with doors you take off and, like, they just have a whole stockpile of Jeep doors somewhere? Or maybe it's just a Carnosaur production thing. They couldn't afford the doors on the Jeep because they couldn't afford a full C in Carnosaur 3 to start the movie title. Okay, I've got <laughs> subtitles on and it said, come in, daddy, come in. Come in, daddy, come in. Barstow this morning, a convoy. <laughs> this guy looks like, not him, this guy looks like an old ass Kevin Costner. Yeah, I can see that. The other guy looks like he's taking a dump. He just wants to get this meeting done as, as fast as possible because his uh, superior officer's slamming scotch before noon. You know that conversation is not going to go well. You and your team to track down and secure the missing transport. Need you to track down that missing transport of primal species. Let's just say the only people that know the answer to your question are the President of the United States and the Joint Chiefs. That's yeah. Not, e not even the people watching this movie understand what's going on, Private. I requested you because your team's the best. I'd stake everything I In have. In fact, I did. There's a bet going on you living or dying. Don't let me down. I got $2.75 riding on this. <sighs> that guy's having a shit Tap day. Your budget for the movie. What the hell? He's supposed to, Michael McDonald's supposed to be the cop. Look at his uniform. It's like paper thin. Hold it right there! On the ground! They rented those costumes same place they got the helmet. They got those other Spencer's gifts. Fuck or, uh, McDonald was an AP whore back then. He just did whatever he could get. Dude, you gotta keep your keep your SAG card. Uh, you know what? Actually, I bet you this was not a union Kelsey film, if I was gonna guess. This is non union. It's the helicopter landing from part two. <laughs> Why the hell is the Coast Guard here? <laughs> okay, we're taking it up. They probably had to get the Coast Guard to uh, do the flying. Let's see if they fly more than five feet off the ground. <laughs> Uh, helicopters, I don't know if I've ever told you about this. Helicopters are like one of my biggest fears. I do, so, uh, a machine that has a spinning blade is not supposed to be in the air. I'm sorry. Do you see birds? 
with their wings out. spitting like that? I don't think so. We can't make out of what he's saying, but we figure probably. Man, that cop is out of shape, bud. Look at this guy. He's not retired yet. Come on. Drug smuggler, smugglers like to use smaller ports like this, and oh, here found out they're freaking killers. That's that. That sounds like real talk to me. All right, man. Let's go. You notice stay that none calm, of these police officers right have a watch on? <laughs> Alex, stay right. calm. Up front. Everybody calm down. When I want someone to calm down, I point at him ferociously and yell at them. They apprehended one of the perks, Eurotrash. From what they can piece together, their objective is to hide the ship in the Arabian. Man, I'm getting air sick just watching them film the helicopter fly. Look how it's like cutting down into the left. That's why we have to move fast. They could be assembling an explosive device as we speak. I think anybody got sent the, the script, looked it over, and was like, oh my god, I want in on this. Well, Josh, <laughs> when you're working at Arby's or at a hometown buffet and they send you a script for a movie, you'll say yes to almost anything. I'm, I'm almost positive. <laughs> uh, oh, you sassy black character. We made you a female on this one, see? Last thing we need is millions of hysterical Californians. Yeah, like anyone would know it's different. How many times are the cops going to pull up to the... Did they literally get their car and drive 15, like 20 feet away from the other car to pull up to the door right there? Absolutely they did. And uh, why <laughs> they did they park the like that? You can tell they didn't get fitted for their uniforms. Some of them were like riding their ankles. Holy shit! Look at this. Look at all these propped limbs. Looks like a damn airplane crashed in here. Fuck. Look at that one cop on the, the uh, exit stage right, right there, holding the shotgun. He looks like he's never held a weapon in his life. <laughs> Look at him. Can't see anything. So wait, the the dinosaurs killed everybody and got back into the trailer. Just get up there. So the, the next set. Yeah, the dinosaurs are capable of intelligent thought. They're setting up a trap here, Josh. Jesus Christ. They're going to think we're reptiles too, not the primal species. I, you know what I'd love is if when they like see the dinosaurs in the Mortal Kombat voice, it says reptile. <laughs> Finish Michael McDonald. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. This guy's been carved up like a Michael has like no delivery at all, like no emotion. With hey, stop that! He's been carved up like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're not level well, you know. They don't know what they have yet <laughs> here. They're... And I don't know that his uh, specific talents were suited for a, you know a Roger Corman so production. <laughs> sure. That guy with the pistol there in the back. But he's gonna like shoot his chin off if he keeps it. He's like holding it like a kid. Yeah, and he and he also, if I'm not incorrect in assuming, he, it looks like he has his finger on the trigger. He does. <laughs> That's like gun 101. Do not. He does. Look. Oh wait, the dinosaurs didn't get back in the other trailer. They got in this one and shut the door. That guy is like they're they have the fattest back. guy. He's out of he can't even talk. He's winded trying to talk to the primal species. And the dinosaurs are like, shh, shh don't say nothing, don't growl. Shh, wait till they open it. Shh, <laughs> then we're gonna eat noise. Get attacked! Oh wow, that's the T-Rex Wait, the T-Rex was just laying. <laughs> laying <laughs> So the dinosaurs, you're right, we, you called that though, the, the dinosaurs had already killed the other guys, and then they locked themselves, to, how the hell did they lock themselves for, back in when there wasn't a dinosaur, so there's a dinosaur out that had to lock the lock on the back of the door. Yeah, they, they said hop in there with this T-Rex and wait till the people come and open it. Just be there's really the, quiet so they don't know you're in there. Those dinosaurs are so good, they were able to latch the lock from the inside that's on the outside of the truck. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Oh my god, that helicopter is actually up in the air a little bit. That, this is like a, they got stock footage from like a Coast Guard commercial. Okay, so wait. The military people earlier were fighting people dressed in black, and now they're going on a mission dressed in the same outfits of the enemy they were training to fight earlier. 
This is just like in NBA games when they both wear white uh, <laughs> uniforms. It's confusing, and I don't like it. So wait, that T-Rex like ate some people and said, I'm just going to leave this area. I don't want, like, where, where did he go? Did he go through a door in there? God, and at what point He's a goddamn primal... T-Rex. Yeah, and Josh, at what point did the primal species get full? You can't just eat all day. They don't Jesus. like arms and legs, apparently. Yeah, yeah. They're the opposite <laughs> of human beings. Like, you know, on chickens, the legs and the and the wings and stuff are delicious. They're just all torso and head. <laughs> yeah, they just eat the guts, the asshole, <laughs> the head, the fucking neck, the back. But there's, like, the, nothing but regular doors in there. How did the goddamn T-Rex walk out of that room? <laughs> the back the back on a, the back on a chicken is awful. Have you ever had a piece of yes, back? It's all, yeah, it's all soggy. There's no meat. Oh, they don't eat heads either, Josh. Oh, they don't eat heads. Just the torso. <laughs> Just the torso. Just the torso. There's no uranium in here. This is a refrigeration trailer. It's rigged with a D-12. Not a D-12. Sure, we got the right track. That's an Eminem group. There's no uranium in here. <laughs> there's only assholes. <laughs> there's only heads, reptiles, and assholes in here, and arms. Hey, check out the rest of the warehouse. See what kind of mess Mercer got us into this time. There's no primal species. <laughs> why? Why do they have these like green beret hats? Like this is this is supposed to like they'll think they're highly specially trained if we put these berets on them. <laughs> Just don't they, they, they had a costume pick up, like, no, that's not manly enough. We need something to really drive home the manliness, the macho-ness. A beret? That's some good <laughs> shit. We need to give them mime hats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go. Hold on a second, let me get my Tiger Electronic game turned on. Yeah, she's playing Jordan vs. Bird right now. Nothing above 62 degrees Fahrenheit, sir. Those Tiger Electronic games sucked, man. Just a bunch of images like that lit up, you know, like certain parts of it lit up. Yeah, I'd rather play the the you know those water games where you press two buttons at the yeah. dentist office and you can like uh, put hoops on like a uh, like a thing and you try to get points. It's like <laughs> I'd rather play that. Free, free, oh, the primal species are are hiding from them and being really quiet instead of just attacking like a primal species would do. Yeah, this is. I'm telling you, man. We we do need to save the primal species because they have intelligent thought. They are capable of setting traps and locking themselves inside trailers from the inside. God, they, you know what? This looks exactly like the set of Return of the Living Dead Three, mm -hmm. like the military facility. Like, if we ever make an independent film, Josh. We need to just have a dark ass like warehouse looking set. We could do anything we want in there. Well, when Slash Tracks the video game comes out, we'll have a whole level like that. <laughs> the video game. The video game. You can unlock our characters, but we're not able to go to any other uh, like levels of the game. We're just stuck in our cells, our prisons, the entire game. Is that the primal species? No, but that guy must have tasted like shit because they just ate his face. Oh, they got full. Oh, that one liked him. That one likes chi likes chicken, but just the skin. Yeah. Like the KFC skin, you know? Original yeah, that, extra crispy. That guy was basically the equivalent of what I used to do at the Sizzler Buffet. Uh, I would, like, eat my ass off, and then I'd get an ice cream cone at the end of the day, you know? I'd take one bite and throw, throw the almost full cone in the parking lot. <laughs> You're on top of it. <laughs> Get these empty boxes off of me! Colonel! Colonel Sanders! There's stuff back here? She said she's stuck back there. Apparently oh, she, okay. she's specially trained, but she's not trained in moving empty boxes. Yeah, these boxes. I got, I'm, I'm trapped. The primal species. Damn! I just bitch slapped her. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh no, you didn't. Damn. So the guy, the guy witnesses his buddy get attacked, and then he decides to like get his gun loaded. It looked like he was loading the gun. A lot of these Velociraptor things sound like uh, insects. That almost sounded like uh, like one of the. No, it sounded like the Ghostbusters when they turn on their freaking pack. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounded like. <clears throat> it's 
So she got slapped in the face and it killed her. She was gone. Let's get out. Of that that adds up. That that sounds right. She died from a bitch slap. Where the hell are you? Maybe it broke her neck. Claire. Maybe. Why, why Maybe onto I... something. They're smarter than we thought. When they're not hungry, they just bitch slap people to death. That that guy, that ain't good, Colonel. We got to get out of here. If they hook him up to a lie detector test, there's absolutely no change of like anything in his <laughs> voice. That they, they would have thought he was ordering dinner at a restaurant. Oh, she's important because he held her hand and she's carrying a briefcase. Her hair is tied back in a ponytail, so she means business. But she has glasses, so she's smart. Lipstick, so she, you see she's still sexy and still very feminine. And she's, like, looking at him, like, very deeply. Like, Ooh, what you happened know, to her face? Oh, that wasn't her. Okay, there she is. These creatures are you know what I'm saying? Like, she may, she may get down with one of these guys at some point, I think. We think are these three filming in the same room, or do these just all take away shots filmed in different places? <laughs> it's imperative that we get them back right away. I don't think well, they filmed this together. That guy was working a shift at the hometown buffet. He they just filmed him when he you know when he was on break. This guy was working at a shell gas station, and she was working at a Stars. They just pieced it together. Besides, he was at the buffet cleaning up all the ice cream cones out of the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, that I left, that I threw in the parking lot because I was stuffed. Dude, in the reflection of their glasses, you can see, like, film equipment. <laughs> oh, get the hell out of here. I swear I saw somebody walk by with a camera. Okay, look at the look at her eyes. Look at her glasses. Can you see anything? Yes, you can see the camera hand pointing the camera. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. He's pointing it at her right there. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> you in the middle. <laughs> Holy shit! I guess it's just a little bit too late for Coolidge. That's some good shit. Sorry That's some good shit. Minutes, but right now I've got the creatures contained. There's closed off dollar the store Sylvester Stallone up there. The warehouse on the fourth. It's not even dollar We've store Frank Stallone. <laughs> General, your empathy is overwhelmed. He looks like he's taking a dump every time you see his face. I wonder what he's like off the clock. I wonder if he just like really cuts loose after a shift. She just called this the Carnosaur program or something. Called them Carnosaurs. All right, let's hear about these primal species. So they're they're briefing one guy. The Velociraptor can grow to seven feet, and a T-Rex can reach up to thirty feet. And she can breed very fast. Oh, excuse me. There's another well, guy in there. The <laughs> raptors can get the T-Rex pregnant the T -Rex where she can... Genetically designed oh, she's asexual. Sorry, she's got eggs in her already. I was wondering how that works. Her to reproduce indefinitely. Wait a minute. Do they... The velociraptors have sharp reflexes and can move extremely fast. Who took the they pictures? They any living creature. Of the dinos in action. The same guy who took the photo of Jason Voorhees in yes. uh, part five. They have bone crushing mandibles. See, if somebody passed me a note saying, I bet she has a great ass while, while a woman's showing pictures of dinosaurs, I'd be like, yeah, she does, but that tail would get in the way. They have an enormous capacity. They're all eight. Hey, like fifty percent of their their coworkers and colleagues just got murdered today, and they're, and they're still passing, passing notes around like they're schoolgirls. This gentleman concludes my presentation. Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? So let me get this straight, Doctor. If you want us to capture one of these things alive, so you can save your so-called science project. It's not so-called. That's <clears throat> literally a science project. That's what she's just. Yeah. And I think we ought to send him right back into extinction. My grant Dixie depends on it, soldier. Take a vote. I vote Dixie. Polchek, put your hand down and shut up, okay? Quiet. You died in the last movie. Democracy. We have our orders. But, sir, you don't get a say in this. We're an anti-terrorist unit. We weren't trained to hunt these mega dinosaurs. Uh, excuse me, you guys weren't trained at all. <laughs> Obviously. Wait a second, guys. We we were trained how to fight really good shot ninjas, okay? We've never been trained how to fight the primal species. Primal species weren't in the manual, okay? I didn't sign up for this primal species shit. Can they swim? 
You're not physically adapted for swimming. Man, you could cut the sexual tension between those two with a knife, man. What's that, Master Evil? Excuse me. It's dark. He says we have to watch part four immediately after this one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Indicated they are coming. coming up in season two at some point, I'm sure. Uh, actually, sir, Sanders and I have been working on this thing here. It says here they ship beef to Hawaii and Japan. Madison ship. Okay, so hold on one second. So, yeah. All these people just got murdered. There's dead ninjas all over the place. There's <laughs> dead. There's dead military people everywhere. Police are dead. Um, but they're they're like having a plan. Like who's left to like go get these dinosaurs? Yeah, Where the, the dinosaurs hell? have boarded a ship that is going to leave for Hawaii or something. And they have to go on the ship to stop these dinosaurs from getting to where they're... I guess the dinosaurs know where they're going. I don't know. But they have to get on a ship now. Okay. They're primal, man. Primal. <laughs> this looks like they're playing laser tag. Like, this looks like a laser tag arena. They're still talking about the chick. God, will you do me a favor, guy behind me? Stop pointing your assault rifle at me. <laughs> He's like playing lightsaber with the flashlight back there. Dude, the most dangerous person is in this movie isn't the primal species. It's the idiot behind him pointing his gun at everyone. That dinosaur slammed the door on him and then ran away. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur left a bag of flaming shit on their doorstep and ran away giggling. It's a... It's a Thing and dash or whatever. These kill sequences where they're like, you know, being attacked by the dinosaurs and being murdered. It looks like it literally looks like a video game from the early nineties. Like where you encounter a box, you know? Rubber suit monster, the video game. Yes, I know what you're saying. That whole black and white fast paced shit. Mm-hmm. It looks like um, when you get ninjas or donkeys. Yeah, well, if they were ninjas, they'd be dead. Um, no, <laughs> I was gonna say when we were kids, there was this interactive board game called Nightmare, and they had a lot of different ones like that. But like the the images of like when something bad was gonna happen, it was like really dark, quick cut, cheap. That's yeah. what this looks like. That's where the dinosaurs are from. This, yeah, from the Nightmare board game system. These uh. Th this movie probably cost literally like less than ten thousand dollars to make. I rented this when it first came out, believe it or not, on VHS. You're the reason, then I should be pissed off at you, not Master Evil. You are the reason that they kept making sequels because it made like, money. Like, hey, somebody rented it. Let's make a part four. Exactly. Yeah, one person rented rented it. Let's, let's See, part four is supposedly like recycled footage of the first three movies with a few new actors thrown in, and part five has nothing to do with these movies whatsoever, except for reused footage in a couple scenes. Uh, it's called the Eden Formula, but uh, I don't think Master Evil is even that evil to make us watch five. Unless the fans demand it, you know. I guess we'll just have to find more <laughs> to complete the series. <laughs> the Slashaholics are like, torture them more. Josh and Alex deserve it. <laughs> right, so let me get this straight. They're not ninjas. They're not donkeys. The primal species are the reptiles. And you're not going to go out with me? Fine. <laughs> No, he's he, no, he's like, and I'll pick. Uh, wait, they're not. They're on a cruise ship. They're killing people. Where are the ninjas? The cops are dead. And what kind of breakfast do you? What, how do you like your pancakes in the morning? <laughs> how do you like your eggs? Fertilized or unfertilized? <laughs> yeah. How do you like your eggs in the morning when you're gonna be at my place? Well, good thing they're not going to warehouse number two. <laughs> Meanwhile, at warehouse number one. <laughs> They're, they're, boxes. <laughs> no, they're loading. They're loading the primal species luggage <laughs> for the ship. <laughs> That's all the doors from the jeeps. <laughs> well, we know the script for this movie isn't in, those, in that luggage because this movie was piecemealed. Your mission, should you accept it, take this pile of rubble and move it over to that pile of rubble. Donkey butt. Pole check. check, same difference. So I hear you have problems taking orders from women. Oh god. Who, who has said no. Hey, Polchek doesn't like taking orders no. from women? I have not heard one person no, say that. 
Yeah, they have. She did. Just oh. now. Okay. What about the rest of the shit you're supposed to move? Why, why are you? You're some half-ass soldiers. She looks like she, she looks like a cook. Like she looks like she looks like a military cook. Why is he talking to her about like? Why is the cook in charge of Polche? Because she's a badass. Because she's got a bandana on. That means you don't fuck with her. She's the female Steven Seagal of the Carnosaur series. Like a beret is not good enough for her. Well, I'd be I'm surprised Polchek didn't get a spin-off series. Okay. <laughs> like his own, you know, separate from the dinosaurs. Just Polchek goes on missions by himself. With his brother, Monk. <clears throat> that never died in Carnosaur 2. <laughs> yeah, it, it's... They're cousins. Identical cousins. What are they all hugged up for right here? <laughs> I don't know, There's... Very tight knit group, apparently. And they didn't die in shitty hey, Don and Flix. Oh my god. Here it is. <laughs> Gotta prove how badass she is. There's gonna be some serious sexual tension between Polchek and this lady here once their hands touch. Hey, Nothing under the belt. <laughs> Josh, you can tell that this is supposed to be. This is a. They're bonding right now because you can tell by the music. Oh yeah, real light. General, it is essential that we capture a healthy. Guaranteed, that lady's outfit was provided by Lo Ross Dress for Less. I refuse. That's like three sizes too large for her. Next to Alex's costume shop. I'm not afraid of guns, Colonel. There are bigger issues at stake here. I don't give a damn about your bigger issues. The safety oh, she means business. Look at that hand on her hip. Oh, she's gone. Her talking to the guy about what they're going to do, it looks like the start of every Brazzers movie since the beginning of time. She's still got that hand back there like, uh-uh. Snap and bend. Unnecessary danger. But I'm afraid Dr. Hodges is right. Be sure to say her name over and over so people know she has a name. It's Hodges. Jeopardize the safety of the creatures. How the hell am I supposed to capture one of these things without firepower? What if something goes wrong? What if what something, if something goes down? wrong? What if, what, what if when it does go wrong, because of all of my men who have encountered a carnosaur has died? <laughs> They've been reduced to nothing but arms, legs, and sometimes heads. Yeah, and assholes. They have a 100% failure rate at this point. What do you mean, if something happens wrong? <laughs> oh, trying too hard. <laughs> you timed that perfectly with her face. Ah, old chick. Well, what do you know? I guess I'm just the pussy after all. Army faggot. Whoa. Army. She, they used the hard F right there. I don't know. They sure did. I didn't like that. Me neither. Bad Corbin. Bad Corbin. Tell you what, Santa, she was strong. I mean, strong. I mean, like, fucking strong. I'm talking like primal species strong, man. Oh, oh, she's left-handed, so... He beat her, but with her offhand. See how strong she is? She threw something with her left hand and it barely stuck into the wall. Which means she would have won the arm wrestling match had she used the right hand or the left one. Well, since we're going down the arm wrestling, uh, uh, you know, road, I, over the top, a 1980s Sylvester Sloan arm wrestling movie, when when he's arm wrestling those guys in the scenes, you know how the guys are really big, like big, big, their biceps and traps and delts yeah. and everything are huge. I don't give a crap how determined Stallone is. is Math and science mission. tells me is that, that those guys are going to beat yes, Stallone. Sir. Come on, man. <laughs> I know, right? I hate that Go movie ahead. for that reason alone. It's, oh, Stallone turned his hat around. Okay, he's in the zone. Okay. He's going to win. He turned his hat around. He's focused. Can't beat him with that hat's around. All right, we're back to moving the rubble from one place to another. So that guy right there, he gets paid so little. <laughs> That he's actually collecting uh, crates because he's gonna sell them on the black market. Pallets, yeah. I yeah, used to sell pallets. Hey man, everybody's gotta do what they gotta do. Times are times are tough right now. Dude, I'd make like five hundred bucks a day selling pallets, going out and getting them and selling them back in the day. 
Yeah, they're they? not worth that anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, why the hell aren't you doing it right now, then? Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna catch the, the dinosaurs in a hammock. I was gonna say, there's, it takes like five <laughs> specially trained military people to set a hammock up. <laughs> this is where our net. Josh, this is, this is our government dollars, go government tax dollars at work here. This is a documentary. <laughs> This is a B. This is live footage from BLM. You got to be prepared for when the carnosaurs come. Okay, everyone knows who the primal species. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Very primal, very bigly, very primal. Okay. <laughs> Trump spent all of our defense dollars in getting ready for primal species as opposed to COVID. Because it came on TV one night. He's like, oh, uh, uh. Those carnosaurs mean business. Okay, I don't. I want to be more than a leg and arm and a head. Okay. He's had 17 Diet Pepsis at that point when the movie came on, and he's had like three buckets of chicken from KFC. Just hopped up on MSG and caffeine. What's this? Well, how's this? He's like the worst soldier in history. Yeah, he's a real cut up, that Polchek. Yeah, you know, I mean, I like the actor and everything, and rest in peace, but he is the worst. He's he's the worst. That soldier is the worst. Are they hanging one of their buddy's torsos up for I guess. bait? Please tell me that's meat and not, like, one of their buddy's torsos. <clears throat> um... I'm noticing that, you know, we're like 45, 50 minutes into this movie already, and we've seen maybe a minute's worth of dinosaur footage actually on screen. Oh, there's supposed to only be like four minutes and 58 seconds total uh, dino, dino parts in this movie. Well, it's te it's telling me something, Josh. If we wanted to create a dinosaur movie, we could do it, I think. I think and we just knew. use this, the dinosaur footage from this and just make the scenes kind of fit. Just piece it together. I mean, me and you could just we we could be more believable military personnel <laughs> than these guys. I'll be check pole, <laughs> and I'll play the lady who's really good at arm wrestling with her offhand. Okay, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's arm wrestle. Come on, Stan. But I'm really left-handed. Yeah. Why did you tell me that before the match? I'm getting too young for this shit. Pole check. Stop smoking ciggies on a on a hunt for the primal species. What's the matter with you? Once in Guatemala, what was it like? She was an excellent soldier. Oh, they gotta have their bonding. So when one of them dies, we go, "Oh no, Pole check's buddy." How's she doing? The pressure. We were both part of a covert team trying to take down a drug lord. Really, you were on a covert team. I find that highly doubtful. I don't care who you were taking down. He's got like the very first prototype for a Bluetooth ever <laughs> on the side of his face. Did I ever tell you the story about when I went to Albertsons or grocery store anyway, and uh, this guy was having a full-on conversation with a cantaloupe, and I thought he was like nuts, but he was like describing to his wife, I guess, like that they didn't have like ripe cantaloupes because... He's like on Bluetooth. Around. Yeah, he was on Bluetooth. I thought he was lost his damn mind. I was like, "There's a joke about somebody going to the bathroom, and uh, they think the guy outside the stall's talking to them, but they're on the phone." <laughs> but he, yeah, he's on his Bluetooth. You gonna be able to get it out of there? I can come help if you want me to. Oh man, when I when Bluetooth first came out, I hated it. I still don't like people who wear Bluetooth. It's like one of my prejudices. It's douchey. It's douchey. Yeah. I've done, I've done it. I've done it. I've been a douchebag. Oh, I, I think a carnosaur's coming. Go on my command. They only have two guys so what uh, have ready to hunt down these carnosaurs. Ah. Oh, Polchek's uh, getting serious with his buddy there. Yeah. They said that these must. Polchek and his buddy must be the elite of elite. Okay. Oh, oh, we got a primal species. Shoot it. The hell are you waiting for? Shoot, shoot the pallet a thousand times, but miss the dinosaur, and it runs off. Polchek just made a noise that's probably going to get his buddy killed, and he's like, "Oops!" <laughs> if they really wanted to catch um, 
uh, you know, a primal species, instead of hanging up a chicken or a pig or whatever they hung up, they should have just hung up a torso of a human being. <laughs> That's what I thought they did at first. <laughs> yeah, just actually hang up a torso of a human. They love those. No legs and arms, no. Yeah, they'll, no, they'll spit those out. Sir. Hold check, you're gonna get him killed. What is your problem? You are the yeah, worst. Will you, will you shut the fuck up, Hold check? See, Hold check, that's what you get. Wait, so how did Hold check get bit if the thing fell during the second one? Okay. How is Hold check not dead? That one lady died from getting smacked in the face, and he's not dead. He got his arm, like, hit right in. Is that, is that Pornosaur dragging Polchek with a rope? By his throat, man. He's dead. That is a primal space tool. I get it now. He's a savage species. <laughs> Don't help him, dude. Next time you're set up trap, he's gonna make a noise to Okay, how many bullets does it take? Yeah, seriously, to put down a primal beast. <laughs> so they had the shittiest net before. That's what you get when you use a hammock to try to catch a, a, a carnosaur. Well, it was on sale because it was switching seasons to fall from summer at Walmart. The, the government wanted to save a few bucks. You ain't really? And your, your voice ain't all hoarse or anything? You're dead. He yeah, got shit. bit. He got bit directly in the shoulder. Where's the blood and stuff? Yeah, and why is he not like dead from being choked and drugged like that by something with that much power? His horse is. Just, his voice is just a little horse. He's just a little winded. It'd be like pitch meeting, you know, on YouTube. Be like, then Polchek's gonna get dragged by a Velociraptor. Oh, I bet it's gonna be hard for him to get out of that. Actually, quite easy. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, he's totally fine. Managed to spot the trap without previously encountering a similar situation. Man, check out the lighting on the in this scene. This is horrific. Now they're making exceptional gains. That's real So the dinosaurs, the carnosaurs, I'm sorry, are getting smarter on this ship as this is happening. You gotta be careful what you wish for. They're making traps. You may get it. <laughs> they put the dinosaurs uh, take the hammock and they set up a track trap for Polchek. They just put a pack of ciggies. <laughs> and, they, they actually, the and then they they don't even attack the rest of the soldiers. It's like, look, he was the worst. Okay, <laughs> we're we feel bad for you guys. Amazing. As you were, you're good. What? Yeah, we just want Polchek. So He's the worst. Are you talking about? You know how. Uh oh, she took her glasses off. She's getting country. serious. That's what's happening with these damaged cells. It'd be funny if she They're starts running into shit because she can't see. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I can only compare this data to that of the previous generation of carnosaurs. The previous generation of carnosaurs, you say? Hatched from eggs discovered sometime I can't imagine watching this movie, like, when it came out, you know, on uh, tape release, VHS release. I would have been so pissed if I rented this, brought this pile of crap home. Unfortunate mishaps. I had fun with it, but it, order was given to these the kind of movies got me through a lot of uh, doctor stuff. Uh, uh, just was bad stuff at school and whatnot, you know, bullies and shit. Go home, watch these stupid movies. The I don't... I, hey, I spoke with members of the I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm just telling you, like, because I've watched freaking uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2 well, at least a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I'm just telling you, when they were hijacked. these there's like and little to no plot here. There's strong evidence to suggest. Yeah, I was a, I was at like eleven or so, so it didn't matter. But now so it's like, oh. Oh yeah, when we were kids, Josh, I I like literally so, Ducktales or Tailspin episodes had enough plot for me. Like this yeah, movie would have been ate Shakespeare. This, I, I ate this up. She wanted you fresh to feed her hatchlings. How do you know? She <laughs> literally her character, Josh, is literally for exposition. It's an exposition dump. She just said she was that that Velociraptor was keeping Polchek alive to feed its young. But we just heard earlier the T Rex is the one that lays the eggs, not the Raptors. And now the Raptors' tail is regrowing. So you're telling me they can regenerate and come back to life. What the fuck, dude? 
Are these? Is that the T Rex has built a nest and is tending to the eggs? How much? How much I'm plot and stuff can they fit into this fucking? Yeah, she's dumping so everything out right, right now. If you got up to pee during this part of the movie <laughs> and you come back, you missed everything. Sorry. Should still be explaining more stuff. <laughs> and anyway, this is what Roger Corman was thinking when he financed the now film. That's the case. I'm only going to need so one more these dinosaurs are immortal, immortal if, if its tail is growing back and it's coming back to life after being shot to shit. I have a case, gentlemen. <laughs> the carnosaur bred with a Highlander. <laughs> you have to take the head. Um, uh, Colonel? Didn't you, uh, just perform an emergency operation here with an axe? Yes, I performed side. a tailectomy. Uh, Nobody sees it breathing up there? Kill her, please. Please eat her. Yes, please. And, and take pole check while you're at it. How do these dinosaurs see anything if that's their vision? That's why they're so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. I think that's all I can do. They see they, every human being looks like Mr. Game and Watch. Exactly. Oh, it's a He's like just chilling outside the window there. <laughs> Wait for its moment. Are we being told that these raptors are the T Rex's tactics? They're like the putties, and the T Rex is like Lord Zed. Foot soldiers, if you will. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's still 20 minutes left. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. There's 20 more minutes in this. <laughs> and this is a short movie. It's like an hour you got, 17. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I heard we're gonna have to watch the Swamp Thing movie soon, so that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Well, those, are, those are pretty uh, corny. Well, I was gonna say, don't tell Master Evil, because they've actually, Swamp Thing actually had decent reviews, which I would say. Don't tell him. Uh, yeah, I, we may actually enjoy it. But sir, we know where they are. Transport Did my so Michael lives. McDonald's dead? Do we, I don't remember seeing him die. He was in I don't either. Well, Maybe he just he's well, running just, still. Yeah, look what I can do. Look what I can do. And he's skipping around, running. He's running, warning the town, before. going. I'll do it, You've sir. got to run for your lives. Yeah, run so now. There are dinosaurs right. coming so this way. Oh, run. Oh my God, it is my scary. Navy. I'm the first to join the Marines. That guy actually has a military haircut. I applaud him. He is the only one that went full method. For three. Capture them once we get them out to the ocean. So Polchek's all serious now. The handle and eyes agriculture. Getting drugged by a dinosaur trying to feed you to its hatchlings that may or may not be its own or the T Rexes. We'll change a man. All we gotta do is get him down the road. And then spray him with enough cold air. So since we went through all that shit about her being left-handed earlier, yeah. that has to play something in the end, yeah. right? Or else, it, there's why would they have that scene? They're probably gonna rip off her dominant hand <laughs> or something. They're gonna rip the, the primal species is gonna rip off her dominant arm. Okay. I'm guessing. Sir. Well, sir, wait, let's go, let's go, gentlemen. We set sail at twelve hundred. Set hours. sail, huh? Yeah, they're gonna take him out in the ocean and blow him up. We, of course, I'm going. This I have is to an steady them. Extremely that. dangerous mission. There's no need for you to go along. No one knows the Carnosaurus like you. Don't know them. You had no idea until five minutes ago that they could regrow their limbs and come back to life after being fucking blown to shit. So don't tell me that you know the Carnosaurs better than anybody else, because nobody knows them, apparently. No, by the third movie, Josh and I are the ones who know the Carnosaurs better than anybody else. Yes. Yes. Carnosaur emergency, you call on us. And we'll watch it from afar and make fun of it while you die. <laughs> Where? How did they get access to film on an actual ship? And what have the dinosaurs been up to in like the eight hours from the time it was nighttime to midday like this? <laughs> <laughs> they just, is it break time? They don't they have like a, a, a written agreement they don't attack during certain hours. No carnosaurs in here. <laughs> Clear. Plenty of fuel. You know, 
Why does he need the headpiece? Everybody he needs to talk to is always in the same room with him. <laughs> the hell is the headpiece for? There's a hat like your grandpappy wore. He also told me always to drive a ship with a cap on. They're like, man, they Jason Tate's Manhattan hand was so great on a cruise ship. Yeah. Let's film another horror movie on a cruise ship. No. <laughs> so we get a Popeye joke at uh, an hour into the movie. Okay. And, you know, the early 90s, you know, Popeye was so relevant at this point. <laughs> and that hat, he, that captain's hat he was wearing looked so much just like what Popeye wore. It looked nothing like what Popeye wore. But that reminded Polchek of Popeye. So. No, it looks like Polchek wants to have a sexy party. <laughs> the carnosaurs need to wake up. They're getting taken. Wait, I thought they were already out on the water. Why are they unanchoring now? That, that we I'm telling... Did we not see that ship out on the water a second ago? With the I don't with the know. <laughs> You know, that hat, that freaking sailor hat, it looks like the, the hat that every random college guy had at every party I've ever been to. The dinosaurs down there are like, oh, the cruise activities are starting. The magician starts in five minutes. Let's go. Yeah, they're getting the lighting uh, coordinated right now for the big show. They're on the new kids' uh, cruise. Any ideas as to where they meet you? Yeah, you're stuck on the cruise ship with the new kids on the block. <laughs> it's, it's, it's punishment. Don't tell the new kids. All right. The new kids will be performing tonight. Their biggest hits again because it's a week long uh, apology. Now there's 20 minutes left in the movie. My bad. Run lines from the tanks down through the center stairwell. Did he just say they're going to run lines? That's a lie. None of them ran lines before they started filming this. That is a lie. Corbin's just high as shit, you know. You this is some good Super shit. Just, just go on, just say whatever you want. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, you're the expert on the dinosaurs, but act like you have no idea what's going on. Action. Yes, sir. We'll close off all the entrances except for the porch stairwell and the. Hey, you're gonna do arm wrestling with your right hand, and afterwards, be like, ah, but I was left-handed. It'll blow people's minds. Doctor. I need you in the navigation room with Rossi to coordinate our movement below deck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She had to beg to get on this ship. Now they need her to coordinate the movements? Exactly. Yep. Who the hell was going to coordinate Popeye. the movements before she begged to come on the ship? Yeah. Okay, it's the military, man. They have their ways. Take care. Thank you. Uh, are you a, are you a uh, camouflage-wearing ninja destroyer? I don't think so. Uh, Slashaholics, for all you people who aren't familiar, that, what he just talked on was a landline. That phone had a cord, and back in the day, you had to make phone calls on a phone that had a cord and was attached to the wall. Indiana Jones map travel. You had Indiana Jones map travel, man, and it was horrible. It was like a, it was like a map out of a textbook from, like, school with the little line going down. It wasn't even like the cool one from Indiana Jones. Oh, uh, Josh, she changed her outfit. Now she's really taking her job seriously. She's in all black. Is that dinosaur spinning in circles? That camera? Here we go. It's it's happy hour. Oh, oh the dinosaurs on. are like, we're back on, it's nighttime. Where are the Game dinosaurs? On. Are the dinosaurs on the ship? Yes, they're trying to take him out and blow up the ship or something. But they're on the ship just kind of farting around right now? Yeah, just farting around in the bottom, spinning circles, apparently. Okay. I, hey, how much you want to bet that they, they just filmed... That, that's the, They didn't move at all. They probably just showed up opening and closing that gate from different <laughs> angles. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. I agree. I'm not going to bet on that because I agree with you. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, I thought that was a carnosaur. <laughs> you thought that was a carnosaur? <laughs> well, the music hit. Like, a carnosaur was going to be jumping through the door. Clear. Corbin's like, uh-uh. No, no, no. We can't have more than five minutes of carnosaurs in this thing. You gotta wait another ten minutes. I wonder who's going to fight the T-Rex with the forklift this time. It's like every movie has that, apparently. Okay, point. He's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. Check. Rod, fight. Watch it, Judah. 
we've come to expect a T-Rex fighting some type of tractor or forklift at this point. They actually filmed this on the USS Flag, the, the battleship for the G.I. Joe toy franchise, because it was, in fact, so big, you could film a movie on it. God, that toy, man. I always wanted it. Me too. I only had actually ever seen one in real life. Uh, my neighbor across the way from me had one, and I never actually got to see it up close. I just saw him playing with it, and I would lust after it see, from the fence. Kids like that got all the toys. I had six brothers and sisters, so I got. I didn't get much. Oh, uh, only, so ri only rich kids had that toy. They're turning on gas through a water hose. Okay. That's a hell of a plan. They're gonna Why not gas just turn themselves. the gas on without the water hose, though, and just blow the ship up? They're like, here's the plan. We're going to turn the gas on. We're all going to die, too, because we can't breathe gas. But we're going to kill those dinosaurs, too. So in the end, we win. Carnosaurs. Dinosaurs weren't able to regrow their limbs and come back to life like that. They weren't primal species. What the hell is he doing right here? Ready here, sir. No, you're not. Roger that, Sanders. Roger that, Colonel Sanders. Damn it! Did Polchek say original or extra crispy? Damn it! Those are not T Rex eggs. There is that. <laughs> Those look like peeps. I uh, know. They look, like, look like regular egg, like chicken eggs. Oh, Carnosaur 1, the chicken eggs were the raptors, remember? Yes, I do remember that, because we just saw chickens in the opening scene for like <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> I wonder if this movie ends on somebody's ass before the credits start burning away. I don't know. Uh -oh. There's a Carnosaur! Business about to pick up! Did he look down like Sanders was going to be at his feet? I don't know, but the reason he didn't survive is because he lost his head. He's never going to be the head of this military group. Mm -hmm. Eat what? What? Bullets don't stop them, but you can hit them with the butt of your gun and that stops them. Okay. Yeah, whenever I'm going up against a creature that doesn't speak English, I always stop to say, Eat this, motherfucker! Before attacking. Man, the, the, the Carnosaur are so developed now that they actually just knocked down, knocked out the generator and the power grid. Well, the power's down. Turn on the gas generator. What's that? Oh, that's right. The gas. Shit. Don't fuck with Polchek now. Hey, she listened. You don't see that a lot. I don't know where the hell I am, Colonel, and I don't know any good one-liners to tell this raptor before I shoot him. The Colonel's like, you think... The Colonel's like, you think I know what the hell you are? I don't even know what's going on. I'm in charge. I've got a good one-liner for you. Okay. Probably said avoid tight spaces and prehistoric creatures. Should have kept my ass at home. To the stairwell now! Wait a minute. Wow, the one bullet sounded like it actually hit. That was the sound effect was actually on spot. Is he smoking? Why was he smoking? He had like smoke coming off of him. Union break. They didn't have time to stop filming. Yeah, these dinosaurs are just invincible, apparently. Yeah, they, they're immortal. They're primal species, man. Dude, they've survived through four films, apparently. Five. Put it inside. Oh yeah, we're not talking about that one. Four. Guys, you think elevator or you think raptors know how to chew elevator cables? Never mind, I'm I'm thinking too much. Oh, the, the guaranteed. If they're in this elevator, it's because those dinosaurs, carnosaurs, want them in the elevator. Yep. This is all an elaborate room. 
Okay. Yes, they can. I had a feeling. Anyone there? Nobody ever listens to me, though. I'm just random military guy in the credits. So, their legs are shattered, right? Because they just fell all the way Rance. down in the elevator? Rance, come on. Any anybody, answer me. Well, if they would have hey. just, ju well, just jumped in the elevator right before it hit the ground, you know, because, you know, that'd work. At least that's hey. what I thought when you were seven. Hey, Alex. Psst. Yes. yes. We only have ten minutes left. Oh, thank God. <laughs> then I can go back to the darkness in my prison cell where things are really good. Our ratings are gonna suck for this episode. It's gonna have like ten views. Another monster brawl. Yeah. <laughs> they can't all be wieners. I hope we do have bad ratings for this episode. I don't want the series to continue, Josh. Maybe we'll get released. <laughs> it's amazing you know, that for Christmas, Josh. I want to. I want you to watch Raptor Four with me. I'll be here. What do you want for Christmas, Alex? I want the show that I'm on to be canceled, please. He's like, I can't see anything over this line. Oh, wait, I'm listening, not looking. Carlos, Shit. Where the, hell we are. the episode nobody asked for. Carnosaur 3. Four. <laughs> Carnosaur 4. 5 and 3. The trilogy okay. that no one ever wanted. They're shooting a bunch of chicken eggs now. Okay, they need to keep a carnosaur alive, so why not take one egg, right? Take it to the scientist ladies, so here's your living carnosaur, and then they kill the, the, the rest of them. And they don't have to try to keep one alive, right? So they got an egg. Well, if they raise it, you know, from the time it hatches, maybe it'll be their friend. Yeah, like blue. It'll be like a buddy comedy. <laughs> carnosaur 6 is just full check and the <laughs> carnosaur he raised. You know, from an egg, and they're doing like buddy stuff. Carnosaur World 2 Fallen Franchise. It's like Rush Hour, but with Old Check and a dinosaur. <laughs> Old Check's dead now, man. He's a lot of Old Check is dead. Damn. He'll never get to redeem himself in an actual arm wrestling match with her now. That T Rex should have quit attacking him. He was an unarmed man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm a dad. I get to make dad jokes. Rance, Do you think that they had enough, uh, like, gun props that they could all film, like, with their own gun? Or do you think during the scenes they just handed the gun they were using to the other actor? That's what I That's what I was... I actually had a thought like that earlier. <laughs> there like, was like, how do they... Yeah. Did they guns, but guns? they all had to share. Yeah, they're like, okay, well, full checks over here with, with her, so we're going to give, you know, the guns from the previous scene with the other actors to them now. No, the budget, as low as it is, I'd be so scared of the ammunition experts they get, you know, on movies oh. to make sure it's uh, yes. blanks. Yes. I'd be like, how much did you pay this ammunition expert guy? Because <laughs> uh, I'm getting shot at in this movie. Yeah, like the Bra pass? Brandon Lee with the crow situation. Yeah. Like, no oh, yeah, way. Yeah. You need to tell us everything you know about these carnosaurs. I've been doing that the whole movie. Literally 35 minutes of this movie was me telling you about the carnosaurs. The guy on the left with the military haircut, when he's telling them they need to blow the ship up, he literally looks like he's deciding what he wants for lunch. In his head. Do <laughs> I like ham, but I had it yesterday. Like, should I have turkey? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I want. Mustard, mayonnaise, you know. You split up into two teams. All the tough Plus chick has a little tuft of hair down framing her face to show that she's really deep down, just sensitive and, you know, not as not as badass as Like we she actually thought. cared the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And she can be hurt. She's fragile. Fragile. Okay, I don't think that her nod was what he thought it was so when he nodded back they weren't on the same wavelength there you know that boat sailing was awful looking that literally <laughs> looked like that was horrible bathtub yeah bathtub with some CG I don't even know how they did that this baby's gonna blow the 
this ship sky high. Green she like scratching her face like uh I'm tweaking so hard right now. Yeah, she's just she's Jones in for another arm wrestling match. What the hell? Was that a stuffed animal that was bleeding? Wharf rats? Point, I sure as hell would rather be they called it a sh a uh, what rat? A wharf rat. I guess they're like rats that live in a ship. I guess so. Rats of unusual size. Rodents of unusual size. My it's grandpa, not the size of the rodents that's unusual. My grandpa was a longshoreman, and he used to call me a wharf rat. So I thought it was just something he made up. I guess I was wrong. Thank you, Roger <laughs> Corbin. Well, that one looked like a stuffed possum, but... No, Josh. That potato, looked like potato. A, it looked like a ghoulie. Oh, my God. Carnosaurs here, the big mama carnosaurs. Okay, so they're trying to save their friend by shooting his legs with their machine gun. <laughs> Does he <laughs> lift it out the ceiling? They're like, if we get all the blood out of our friend, maybe the carnosaur won't smell his blood and thus want to eat him anymore. Yeah, stand in the giant hole where the T-Rex's head came through a second ago and ate your friend. That's the safe place to stand. Don't shoot. I think I know what happens to the arm wrestling gal, because I think I saw this photo. The neck? Is that the, is that the loose spot? Yeah, what, what, how did she know? What? Team, which the block are like, parlay, parlay, parlay. So Raptor turns around and has a bazooka. Make my day. Like, they understand, like, okay, they've been fighting these damn things the entire film, right? They know yeah. bullets don't aren't really effective. Maybe it's time to switch to something a little bit higher powered. Like, seriously, maybe they have not learned from, you know, their lessons. Blow oh, the up bullets. the pieces. Throw some dynamite at them or something. Oh, the, the, bullet, the bullets haven't worked all film. Let's just keep trying more bullets. She's in here. T-Rex is here. What are you talking about? We lift that thing up two levels. I don't know. And then there were two. Because these are the two characters that I've seen throughout the movie where I'm like, you know what? That's the main characters. Yeah, the, the random... The the random, like, doctor, psychologist, whatever the hell she is, and then this guy who just emoted the entire film and looked pissed. Hey, I was taking a piss, asshole. I looked over at the shoulder like... being over here. Well, you know these carnosaurs have to take a dump by now. They've just been eating humans the entire <laughs> hour and 20 minutes. Why is the T-Rex just banging its head against the walls? I don't know. She's worried about being claustrophobic when there's a gigantic carnosaur outside wanting to eat her ass. You're claustrophobic. Why don't you just go out there and get some air? That's almost as irrational as someone having the fear of public speaking being more, you know, scary to them than the fear of death. Okay. Somebody break out a force lift or I'm going to be upset. I know T-Rexes have little tiny arms that don't really do much, but that one has got the even like the tiniest I've ever seen. Okay. What if mostly that giant thing is laying those little bitty tiny poop sized eggs? Aim for the neck, duh. The timer's on the other charges. Hey, uh, the special effects for this scene, Josh, was brought to you by Master Evil. He's, at, he's got his hand up that puppet's ass right now. Yes. Controlling that dinosaur when it's smashing these boxes there. It looks about the same. Oh my god. Thank you, William. Oh, the T-Rex seems like that too, by the way. Ooh, they blew up the puppet or the T-Rex. Damn. Don't worry, it'll grow back. Yeah, right? Don't worry, its head will grow back. Let's go. No harm, no foul. Alright, they got hey. 20 seconds to get off the ship, and we got two minutes left. So, two minute long, 20 second run. Let's do it. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, I wish there was only 10 seconds left. On, Blow up! Kill them. Please, these are like two of the worst characters. Yeah, I literally am not invested in their survival at all. Boom! They're dead! Roll the credits! Uh-oh. Is there an explosion behind the boat? 
I don't know. Why are the bombs five He's seconds dead. apart? Are they on a ship behind the ship that you see in the water? Because it looks like there's explosions behind it. <laughs> Josh, this is the most horribly planned military crew of all time. What was the plan? That water, dude, Josh, that water's like two feet deep. <laughs> oh, you see how they were? You see how they were in it? It's like yeah. two feet deep, dude. We survived, so now we have to be in love. I was looking for a souvenir. You think those raptors can swim? Oh well, kiss me. Kiss me like this is a romantic movie and we're actually the heroes. Dead body. Probably just reeked on that boat. Carnosaur shit all over the place, and they want to make out now. And I was left-handed the whole time. She's not left-handed or right-handed anymore. She's dead. Oh, sh shit! They left that guy in the back of the car the whole time. That why didn't he climb out the front? He's partied out, man. <laughs> That's how he made it through party the film. Party man. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a party man. Cabin fever. <laughs> that is mouth gag. All movie. Like that rapper was in the back seat with him. I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know. There's a carnosaur left. Oh my god. That was one awful. survives. That means it's gonna make carnosaur four happen. Raptor. That music sounds like Tales from the Crypt. Hello, kitties! Hello, boys and ghouls! Kitties, I bring you God of Saw 5. What's that? We've just been cancelled. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, man. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That was uh, Carnosaur 3. That was brutal, man. That <clears throat> was Monster Brawl quality. That was bad. <laughs> I want to watch a Ghoulies movie at this point. What's that? I'd, I would have rather watched a Ghoulies movie. That was really bad. Dude, we still have to watch Ghoulies. Four. And Carnosaur 4. Yeah, Ghoulies 4 is like, no, there's no puppets. It's just little people dressed up as Ghoulies, and they uh -huh. bicker and talk the whole time. Yeah, I, I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> like, the two the two people from Part 2 or the first one, I can't remember, but they're just like, they're supposed to be funny. Yeah. But they're yeah. just awful. Well, kind of like, like us. <laughs> yeah we're supposed yeah. to be funny yeah but we're just terrible yeah i think we're good i think people had a good laugh tonight we're we making got to the see best an amazing a... movie with us or a oh, movie with us absolutely it makes me want to go back into leonard malton's uh movie guy do you remember those books they were like super thick and he you know he'd tell you if it was a bomb or not or how many stars yeah. i kind of want to go back in time and look up his review for that film i'm i'm, I'm intrigued we should do that every episode, uh, see what he thought of the movie that we reviewed the last time. <laughs> I totally, we could absolutely get, we'd have to ask Master Evil if he let us have one of the books, but that would be a fun, fun part of it, I think. That'd yeah, that would be great. Uh, so yeah, man, we made it through Carnosaur 3. Carnosaur 4 is coming up sometime. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it will happen. Uh, Master Evil's already told me that, plus the Swamp Thing movies, so... Actually, not not scared of Swamp Thing at all. Looking forward yes. to it. Wait, wait. Please don't make us watch Swamp Thing. Please, God, do not it's make bad. us watch a classic of uh, Master Evil, you it. dirty bastard. What about Return of Swamp Thing? Is that a classic for you? No. Because <laughs> that's on the list, too. I don't know. Well, man, we right. uh, that's 20 episodes down. Feeling good. Feeling good. Looking good. Everything's good. The movie's over. Get to go back to our cells. The Contemplate what good. just happened. Hey, it's all good. Life's at good. Least, at least you got to get electricity for a little bit for an hour yeah, and seven great. minutes. It's going to shut off here in a second, so I'm just oh, trying yeah. to drag it out a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching Slash Tracks. 20 episodes so far. 20 shitty movies we've had to sit through. Some of them not so bad. Some of them ghoulies and... 
uh, what, what was that other bad one? Uh, Monster Brawl. Monster Brawl, Ghoulies, Go to College, uh, <laughs> Carnosaur, 1, 2, and 3. And 3. Uh, I would you know what? I say Carnosaur. So if I'm, if, if, yeah, Jacko. If we're going to rank, before we get out of here, let's rank the Carnosaur series up to what we've watched. I'm going to say Carnosaur 2 is the is, best. Yes. Carnosaur 1 is second, and, Car- and Carnosaur 3 is the, the worst so far. Yeah. Yeah. Carnosaur 1 at least was interesting. Like, you can tell the script might have been interesting, but they just didn't have the budget to pull off what they were going for. Yeah, they. I mean, they had an idea, but they didn't, weren't able to execute it correctly. Carnosaur 2... It was like fun schlock. was just like a popcorn movie, and it was good. And it was, it was actually... aliens. It, yeah. It was it aliens. Was, and of the people, there were a lot of characters in the movie that I actually didn't mind. You know, I liked... Uh, yeah, I, I liked it. Carnosaur 2 was good. I would re- actually recommend it. Yep. All right. We'll see you next time with uh, episode 21. That's season 2, episode 4. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe Swamp Thing. Uh, we'll see what Master Evil has in mind. Uh, But until next time, it's time to go dark. Uh, Be excellent to each other. Mahalo. 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 What up, Josh? What up, Alex? Slash Trek? What's going on? I'm buzzing in the